non-binary because non-binary like I, I can relate to that the concept right like gender non-conformity and and some people use it them interchangeably like you're gender non-conforming slash non-binary and I'm like gender non-conformity is saying you're it's a variation of your biological sex right we're not we're not denying it like I'm a gender non-conforming woman um but non-binary people will say I'm not a woman I am just gender non-conforming um yeah well, I mean you've explained a little bit of your perspective but yeah what are your what are your thoughts on the whole non-binary thing and do you feel it diminishes being trans oh of course i wish non-binary was a real thing because then i could just be a part of that group and not change my entire life and kind of go against my biology and yeah change who i who i am in a way um so i wish it was that simple but it's not. It's not a real thing. And if non-binary was a real thing, then I think every single human being is non-binary, especially in the, the Western world <laughs> where we don't really, where we're not as traditional. Um, so like if a woman is not uh, a stay-at-home uh, housewife, is she non-binary? If she has a blazer on, um, is a CEO, is she non-binary? Because it goes against gender stereotypes. Like what? <laughs> So I, I absolutely hate that term and I think it's very offensive. Um, and it's mostly people like women with short hair and men with long hair. Uh, and they're, they're, these people are implying that you cannot be a real woman with short hair, being a CEO uh, more or less, because that makes you a third gender. I think it's super offensive. And it also seems to be a little bit counterintuitive to what it's trying to do. It's trying to say, we don't want to fit into this limiting box. And that's tr- creating another box. Oh man, I suppose the thing with me is, <laughs> I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be talking to you if this was like two years ago, eh? Because I was just like, I'm an artist, so I'm yeah, scared of you know, you know. <laughs> but it's very um, in the, in the arts world, it's very normal to just go go along with all the stuff, yeah. and if you question it, you know, you're in fear of being excommunicated from the group, um, which is what happened to J.K. Rowling, right? So. That sort of set the precedent for, oh my God, we can't speak up about this. I think the only thing that grates me is, uh, the pronoun thing. <laughs> I don't know. I, like, <laughs> I just don't like it when, I, I mean, I said this e- earlier to another friend, like some of the pronoun, some of them are really lovely. Like, honestly, like some of the, some people that use they, them pronouns are like, like fairies that just sort of go to bush doofs and, festivals and like they're just beautiful people but then some of them are just like they they weaponize it against you and they use my pronouns or else and it's just like oh my god like it makes me feel like I'm kind of walking on eggshells around people and it also kind of it grates me a little bit to be asked what my pronouns are because it's like kind of makes me feel a little little bit like less of a woman like what do you mean I'm a woman like what the heck yeah wow That's so offensive that people ask you. Wow. (laughs) Wow. Yeah, I think it's really cool that you're speaking out. You're doing great. Thanks, man. Um, Yeah, so, I mean, what what would you say to someone, like, that just, you know, say someone's being asked their pronouns and they want to be polite, but they don't want to be subjugated by this stuff? Like, how do you respond appropriately? I'm still trying to work it out. What do you think? Oh, if you're being asked, for example? Yeah. Um, so I, I have a friend who's a, I have a friend here who's a lesbian and she has short hair. She's a little bit masculine, but not that much. And she has um a lot of people have asked her and she's really tired of this whole thing. And what she's doing is saying, um, if she's in a like a LGBT bar or something, she's like, I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian. No, but what are your pronouns? Actually, she experienced once that peop- uh, that there was this uh, woman who kept asking her. Mm. She wasn't satisfied with the answer. Like, no, but what are your pronouns? I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian. Like, she kept saying. <laughs> it was so fun. And I think that's brilliant because only women can be lesbians. Oh, well, uh, some might beg for that. <laughs> I think, well, I've, tr- I've tried to just go, I'm a woman. And then I've had a response of like, that's not what I asked you. And I'm like, then I've just had to say, oh, I don't, I don't do the the pronoun thing. Um, but then you're just seen as like, I don't know, 
an outcast or someone who hates people or is unkind. It's like, no, I just, I don't know, man. I, 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 it seems religious to me. I don't, yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll cut this bit out. Yeah, just now. say you're not religious. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry, okay. I don't do that. I'm not religious. <laughs> Uh, but I, I want to give pen- people the benefit of the doubt or, or offer them a concession. But it's, yeah, it's a line I'm trying to work out 